Do you have the microphone on? Yeah, yeah like this. Yeah. Do you want to test it? Uh, just... Uh, okay, I will try to speak. Is it okay? Or mm. I should speak louder? No, I will speak just louder. Um, ah. First, the first knob, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like here. Yeah. Work. Is it working? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it it, it uh, adjusts itself. Oh, okay. Okay. Could you just uh, do something on the screen so I see that it's recording? Wonderful. Oh. Okay. So I will start. Hello, everybody. We'll speak today about um, graphical user interface uh, to help you to do uh, big data and more precisely to speak, uh, we will speak about uh, Hadoop. Um, so at the beginning, I will just introduce uh, what is big data, uh, my definition of big data. And if some of you are not agree, uh, uh, disagree with me, uh, feel free to interrupt me. <laughs> Uh, after, I will just speak uh, about the talent's goals. It's, in fact, democratize uh, data integration and also the big data market. So uh, we will be able to see a demonstration about, about Talent Open Studio for big data. Um, at the end, I will speak uh, a little bit about uh, data quality uh, in the context of big data. Yes, firstly, so I'm Cedric Carbon. I'm CTO of Talent. Uh, board member also of uh, Eclipse Foundation and the uh, OW2 Consortium. Um, my interest is uh, around the products that my company uh, develop, uh, so around data integration, so ETL for BI or um, operational uh, data integration, um, around data quality, MDM, so MDM stands for Master Data Management, ESB, uh, so stand for Enterprise Service Bus, and for sure, Big Data and Hadoop. So, um, first off about uh, Big Data. Um, in fact, a lot of people say, okay, when you have huge volume of data, you, you need Big Data. So, for me, it's not enough. We have the rules of 3B. Um, for sure, for example, if you have three gigabytes of, of data, for example, but uh, you have it every minute, you are uh, on a big data uh, uh, scope and you need uh, big data uh, technologies, uh, multiple servers, MapReduce, uh, all this complex stuff. If you have three gigabytes every day, every night, it's not a big deal, and you can do that uh, easily with a single server without need uh, any uh, big data technology. So, uh, volume, it's not enough. You should also see uh, uh, the velocity, the frequency, is this right, uh, real time, uh, batch, uh, every day you have all the night to, to process your data. You should also see the complexity of the, of the, of the calculation, of the computation. If it's only replication of, uh, of data, uh, there is no complexity. Uh, you don't need a, a lot of CPU, you don't need a, a lot of computation. If it's uh, correlation, uh, uh, matching uh, between a, a lot of uh, data, in this case, you will need uh, a lot of CPU and you will need a big data uh, technology. Uh, variety is also something very important because in big data, you will see, we will take data from everywhere in different formats. Uh, some will be structured, uh, like uh, data come from a rational database management system. Some will be unstructured, like, uh, um, like Twitter, Facebook, like a log file uh, on, your, on your web server, like a RFID uh, data, uh, etc. Uh, my second takeaway is to first us to, to think uh, differently. Um, let me explain a little bit. Usually, um, the traditional data flow is uh, you have a business analyst or an executive member of the company that would say, OK, I'm CFO of the company. I know exactly which KPI, which KPI I should uh, monitor. And uh, I should monitor the booking, the revenue. Uh, I don't know the cash flow, etc." And he will ask to his business analyst to create some very beautiful dashboard to implement this in a data warehouse. 
And at the end, uh, the DI team, the data integration team, will feed uh, the data warehouse uh, and collect data from the CRM, the ERP, uh, the billing application uh, to be able to build uh, the dashboard that the executive uh, ask. With big data, it's the opposite. In fact, you first collect data. And sometimes you don't know uh, what, you will do, what you will do with this data. So you connect data from your in-house or cloud application, from, for example, social networking. Uh, it can be interesting to, um, to understand what people said about talent, for example, in Twitter, in Facebook, etc. To do that, I should record all the, all the stuff that, uh, that, that, that come in this media, in these uh, networks. And after, when I launch a new product, I can uh, see some trend, I can analyze, and I can understand if the, the product is, uh, is, success, is successful or not. So I can take stuff from social networking, from FID, from log file, from uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of different, uh, different sources. And at the end, I have a lot of data. I should store it. So we will see also big data can uh, help us to store a uh, huge amount of, of data. And I will be able to compute, to do some computation in this data, to, uh, to see some correlation and to understand this data. In fact, uh, so you have data. With data, you do nothing. Data, there is a lot of noise. Uh, in fact, it's a lot of noise. And in this noise, you should find signals. And signals, in fact, information. So um, you should govern your data to have information. And thanks information, you can take some decisions. And for sure, that will drive your, your business. So from data, you should understand it. And after, you can, uh, you can take decisions. And in fact, with big data, you can drive a lot of new, uh, new business. Uh, you, 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 don't, you, you don't have in mind uh, at this time because you, uh, you, you don't have all the data. You, you, you don't know what you are looking for at the beginning. So um, just one slide about, about talent. So we have several products. So about data quality to, um, to detect some issue, for example, on your CRM application. After, you can um, clean your data, thanks uh, data integration, uh, to solve the issue. You can govern your data, thanks master data management. You can expose this on an uh, enterprise service bus. Uh, you can use a SOA architecture for that. And you can also do some business process management um, on your data. And we provide product in open source, uh, so called Talent Open Studio for data quality, data integration, MDM, ESB, uh, in either GPL or Apache license, depending on the product. And after, we provide commercial products. So uh, on the top, it's not free of charge. That will leverage of for Talent Unified Platform. And uh, what is interesting is you will have in a single studio, so Eclipse RCP based, uh, all these products together. And we'll, you will be able to, uh, to do some um, some, uh, to use the same look and feel first for all these products and to have some link between products. For example, if you detect some uh, defect on your CRM databases thanks to profiling, you, thanks to right click, you will be able to automatically create a job to clean your data, uh, to deduplicate, for example, your, your data or to clean your phone number. And thanks to right click, you will be able, for example, either to expose this on the MDM hub or on an ESB. So it's, it's very easy to have the same studio and to use the same repository, the same metadata. When you define one time uh, where is your CRM, you can use it in all the product. Single deployment application, single runtime, and single monitoring. And our goal is to do stuff easy, in fact, to democratize uh, thanks graphical user interface. So let's come back on big data. And uh, for example, MapReduce. This is uh, simple, not very simple. Schema about uh, MapReduce. You can see it can be quite complex, but uh, for sure it can manage also, uh, it, it can be scalable if you have a, a lot of data. So at the end of the day, you should write some Java to implement uh, your MapReduce uh, process. And what we want to provide is an Eclipse uh, tooling uh, when you will drag and drop some component to be able to, uh, to, um, to easily uh, do your uh, data transformation on big data. 
So let me just uh, show you quickly uh, how it works. So for example, at the beginning, you want to um, create a connection to your HDFS. So HDFS is Hadoop Distributed File System. is the storage uh, behind Hadoop. So that can manage, uh, for sure, uh, multiple servers. And uh, thanks to this component, you will be able to create a connection to this, uh, to this storage. So first, we are um, vendor agnostic. So that means whatever you, are, you use, uh, Apache Vanilla uh, Hadoop, or Hortonware distribution, or Cloudera distribution, or Mapper distribution, or, there, uh, or um, a distribution based on these four, uh, these four distribution, like uh, Microsoft, uh, like uh, Oracle, like uh, EMC Greenplume, you will be able to use, uh, to use the tools. Um, however, we have a strong partnership with uh, Hortonwork uh, because uh, Hortonworks OEMIs or, or product, embed or product in their, uh, in their uh, distribution. And Hortonworks is a spin-off of Yahoo, so the guys that create Hadoop. Uh, it's uh, currently, last year, it was the company that create, uh, that write um, the um, the most line of, uh, of Hadoop on, uh, on the Apache project. So um, if you want to uh, connect to Hadoop, you, will, uh, you, you should uh, choose first uh, what is your Hadoop distribution. If you want to use security or not, so for Ker Kerberos, where is your name node? Um, and for example, uh, a username. And you can also add some properties uh, if you want, for example, uh, add a DFS, uh, I don't know, a replication uh, set to three, for example, to, to, um, to, to explain to, um, to Hadoop you want your data replicate in uh, three time at the same, uh, at the same time. Three different locations at the same time, for example. After that, you should take your data from somewhere. For example, I have here a databases. So it's a Teradata uh, databases where I, I, I store, for example, my uh, CDR, my call data record. Uh, for example, it's for a telecom um, use case. So when my connection is OK, I can read my data. Just for the demo, I will just put a three, three colon here. After you, you want, for example, do some transformation before loading in, in, inside Hadoop. So I will use a component called tmap. And at the end, I will use thdfs output to write inside, uh, inside Hadoop. So here I will say I use an existing connection, is this connection here. I need to give a file name on hdfs, for example, slash users carbon slash cdr.txt, let's say like this, should give a schema. So I will only put two columns. And at the end, you should link all these components together. And here you can do uh, the mapping. So for example, I will auto map because I have the same name and some columns, and for example, here I want um, I want put I can inject Java, so I want the colon one plus concatenate with a space plus uh, colon two, for example. And for sure, if if I know if I know Java, I can also inject direct, directly code. For example, it's a string. I want uppercase before put this in Hadoop. So I can do a two uppercase on, uh, on my colon. Or if I don't know very well Java, I have some uh, different libraries that will help me uh, to, do, uh, to do my job so, and to test my data. For example, I will put some, uh, some value, some test value. I'm Cedric Carbon. Yeah, and it will process uh, the data and see, okay, you can see Cedric is now in uppercase. Uh, so that should work. Okay. 
for sure, before put this in Hadoop, you can also uh, do some, uh, some lookup. For example, I want to do a lookup with another uh, database or a NoSQL database like HBase, provided by Hadoop also. So you just need to drag and drop some component again, configure it. Uh, I will again just create arbitrary uh, schema. Link that to your team app. And in your, in your team app, there is a Teradata input. This is my lookup uh, database. And for example, I want to say, okay, my key is here, so I want just do a lookup on this key. And I want to get uh, the output, for example, here. Like this. So you, you can have some mapping like this. All, the, all is graphical. Behind the scene, um, all stuff generates Java. So uh, you, you can see it's not a black box. You, you can see all the transformation. And uh, for example, here, you, you, you can see what I inject as code. You, you can see my uppercase I inject at the end. It's on the generated code. Um, OK, let me just come back on slide. I will show you after uh, a longer demo. So we have some comp we have 600 components uh, to to manage all the databases, so Twitter, Facebook, log file, um, a, a lot of connectors for SAP, for Microsoft CRM, for, for a lot of applications. And here it's all the connectors um, for Hadoop. So on the top you can see there is a HDFS connector. It's just to put data in Hadoop or to get data in Hadoop. There's also some scoop component. So scoop, Apache scoop is in, uh, inside the Hadoop ecosystem. And it's used to do bulk load or fast export from Hadoop. You don't do row by row. You bulk load all your data uh, to put this on, uh, on Hadoop. You have some connectors for HBase, the NoSQL uh, behind Hadoop. You have some connectors to query, uh, to query Hadoop thanks Hive, Apache Hive. You have some connector to transform your data uh, also. I will do a, a demo about, about this one. Thanks, uh, Apache Pig. And you have also some connector to do some metadata. Uh, thanks, an incubator project called Apache Edge Catalog. And this, this project um, gives you the same metadata uh, layer for both uh, HDFS, Hive, and Pig. So that can be very interesting if you want to do some lineage, data lineage, impact analysis between your data. And your data is sometimes mapped on HDFS, sometimes thanks I, sometimes thanks pigs. And for sure, we, we generate code uh, at the end. So some components generate peak, some components generate Hive, some components generate pure Java uh, MapReduce code. Uh, it depends on uh, the component. So you can see, uh, you can, uh, it's not black box, so you can see what, what talent generate. And if you are not happy, you can change it. Just one slide um, to say, OK, there is the data integration to do storage, processing, filtering uh, from uh, data come from everywhere. And there is also after uh, a layer for data quality. Is it very important? Uh, because it's a big mess in big data. If you, you have bad quality, it's complex to, uh, to clean after because you have a lot of a huge volume of data. And at the end, uh, all the BI tool, uh, data mining, search uh, can, uh, can use uh, your, uh, your big data cluster. So one stuff very important is we are based on all the Apache Hadoop ecosystem. So that means, in fact, um, you, don't need, um, you don't need to install uh, a talent engine on your grid. You just need to use uh, your grid, your Hadoop grid, without need any installation on the node. You just need after the, the designer that will uh, create for you uh, your, your job. Uh, that will run on Hadoop. And we provide also the provisioning of the job to the grid and also the scheduling to the job to the grid. If you want to say uh, the job should run uh, every minute, uh, every hour, every day. Um, and for that, we use some native uh, uh, function of Hadoop. So to do scheduling, for example, we, we use Apache Uzi that is uh, in the Hadoop uh, ecosystem. 
And it's clearly a big difference with uh, what did, uh, for example, Informatica, uh, Adup, uh, uh, Adup, um, IBM, or others that provide also some tools for, for big data and for Hadoop, because in fact, they, they create their proprietary engine, and you should deploy it in each node uh, on your grid. And what we try to do is to have, uh, in fact, just to be on the design part. So you, ne you need the studio to, d to, to design your job, but after, for running, you don't need uh, any talent software. And we have certified on uh, all the common uh, Hadoop distribution. And included the, the last one, for example, Kudera released a CDH4 um, three months ago. A mapper released also uh, recently the mapper v2. Uh, based on Apache V2, and also the last version of Hortonworks is, uh, is certified. So, let's go with uh, now another demo. Just to win time, uh, I record it. So, and I will just comment it and stop it. So, on the studio, in fact, it, it starts with some data you put on, on HDFS. And after, we will use uh, PIG. So PIG is a scripting, uh, scripting language. So you should uh, fit some, uh, some, um, some settings on your, on your GUI, uh, like um, the storage, uh, which kind of storage you want to use, uh, where is your file, etc. After, we will deduplicate data, so only with a component called TPIG distinct. Uh, after you will filtering columns. So at the beginning we have first name, last name, salary department. And after this component I want to remove uh, the last name, for example. Um, after that I will uh, filter the data. So thank the TPIC filter row. So here you will just need to provide an expression. For example, here I want uh, all the people that have a salary uh, greater than 8,000. So behind the scene, it will generate the peak script uh, that will um, that will exactly do uh, this, this filtering. So you can do several uh, criteria on your filtering. After that, uh, we will do an aggregation. So we have uh, all the salary of all the employees on the company, and we want aggregate uh, by department. So the R&D, the the sales and marketing, GNA, and etc. So I have the department on output, and I want to do a sum on the salary, uh, an average on uh, another column also. So all the calculation I want to do. For example, I should for for the average I should put this in double, and I want to count the number of people on each department also. So I, I add a column called uh, people count. So now I should uh, set up a little more the, the component. So the group by is by department. Oops, sorry, my screen saver. Okay. That will come back. Come back? Okay. And I have three output column I just declare. So salary sum, I will do a sum on my, not my first name, but on the salary column, the salary input column. And Again, you, you, you will declare all the, all the output column on all the functions you want to apply uh, on the input column, like average, max, mean, uh, sum, count, uh, etc. So last column, people count to count uh, the number of people. And that's all. No, I will sort also my da data after aggregation. And the key of, sort, of sorting will be uh, the department first, um, no, the people count first, sorry, and, and after the salary, I think, yes, salary sum. And for sure you can also set the order of the sum. And at the end you will run the job, so you will create the peak script and run it after, and uh, create all the MapReduce stuff and run it on, on the grid. So you can for sure monitor it, uh, thanks all the Hadoop monitoring stuff. Uh, you see uh, the job ID of, uh, of the job. I will just go at the end. So, um, yeah, just do a pause, sorry. So after this job, 
I read my data again from HDFS because all, all my data are on HDFS and I create a file on my file system. So uh, at the end, uh, I have only the aggregation of my record. So I have only four records because I have four departments. And uh, all the result is in this uh, directory, in this folder. And here on Hadoop, uh, so it's a browser on HDFS. I will refresh it, and you will see a fill up here. So the fill is called re result. And we will see it. And in this file, you see all the departments, R&D, marketing, sales, finance, with all the calculation we have. And this is also the same file on my file system uh, with the same data because at the end of the, of the job, here, in PIG, I, I generate a file on HDFS. So thanks to the web browser, I can uh, see it. But I add also at the end of the job uh, to uh, retrieve the data on, uh, on my file system. So it's why I can open it on my, uh, on my, uh, on my desktop. I think the time is finished. So I have only one slide to finish. Just about uh, data quality. It's my last uh, takeaway. It's, in fact, when you have... Um, W when you are in, um, in, uh, in, data, in data integration and you have poor quality, you, you, you start to have some, uh, some problem. But when you have big data, it's more and more complex uh, after to, uh, to fix uh, your, your quality issue. So it's very important when you deal with big data to, uh, to focus on the quality of your data, to try to, uh, at the beginning, before put this on the grid to, uh, to have a data quality firewall, or inside the, the, the grid to, uh, to try to, um, to, um, to solve uh, as soon as possible all your, your, your data quality issue. And I think that's all to respect uh, the timing. If you have some question, I can, uh, I still have uh, three minutes to answer. That's a good question. So we have component to do uh, matching um, with some uh, fuzzy logic um, because uh, when you will get data from everybody from everywhere, you will have not the same standardization. Um, so we have data to do some matching with a different uh, different schema uh, and to use some uh, some algorithms like uh, Levenstein, like. Uh, um, phonetics uh, algorithm. And we have also uh, a set of components um, um, to do some, um, um, some standardization. So to try when you have, uh, for example, uh, an address, to try to split it on a street, number, uh, um, city, uh, country, etc. And after you can match it. And currently we work on, um, on a project called Apache Mout. Uh, uh, it's also powered by, uh, by Hadoop and that uh, gives you a lot of algorithm to do some clustering on your data. So it's also a question of matching, but data mining, it's uh, always a question of matching. So we have some components currently on the, on the release. Um, we work on some new components on, on the future, but it's a big, uh, a big direction for Thailand, uh, a main direction for Thailand also, because on big data, you sh it, it's quite data mining uh, to, to try to, to, uh, to match your data and to, to transform your data in information. Another question? So thank you. <laughs>